I'm here with Jesse Golden. Thanks mm. for joining us. I'm so happy to finally meet you. I know, me too. I've been Thank stalking you. you and following <laughs> you. You have to check her out on Aww, social media at so Jesse Golden. You're so positive. I love your voice. I love your tone. You're like impossibly beautiful, but you oh have this gosh. message that's so important. So I just kind of wanted to bring that to life for my audience and inspire some women. Thank you so much You're for welcome. having me. And look, she just brought me her book, <laughs> which I can't wait to read, The Golden Secrets to Optimal Health. Let's talk about Golden Secrets. Yeah. Well, the whole Golden Secrets thing started, um, well, my last name's Golden, so it's, it was an easy name. Um, but I have rheumatoid arthritis, which is, uh, you know, it was quite the shock. I got diagnosed 10 years ago, and mm. I kind of went undiagnosed for a really long time and part of that um, journey was because what I realized was because I grew up as a ballerina in mm -hmm. my mother's dance studio. That's why you're so flexible and you yeah, can do that's all what these started amazing it. yoga that's moves. That's what started it. <laughs> wow. Yeah and um, during this during my healing process I realized that I had a lot of um, inner critic and this being able to push through because of my ballet training. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if you, have you ever, did you ever do ballet or I dancing? didn't do ballet and I didn't dance as a child, but I learned everything on Dancing with the Stars. I oh, just worked yeah. harder than everybody else. Yeah. So I didn't have the background, but I had the spirit and the yes. drive. Yes, Which, you well, know, that's yeah, what so it takes exactly. to survive, right? Yeah, it's intense. And, you know, it's literally how I grew up because my mom had a dance studio, but like, a normal dance studio has a mirror the size of mm -hmm. this, the whole studio. Um, so there's a lot of judgment. There's a lot of yeah. inner judgment, and then there's a lot of judgment from your teacher constantly trying to you know, reach the state of perfection mm -hmm. that doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. And then there's also this other side where you're literally just taught to push through the pain. Yeah. So I was taught to ignore every signal in my body. Wow. Yeah. The signals that you needed to be listening to. Yes. Oof. So when I got sick, I always had an excuse why I felt sick. I was a single mom, and I was actually still breastfeeding at the time. Mm -hmm. So I went undiagnosed for a long time. And then when I finally um, got diagnosed, it was quite the shock because I had never even heard what rheumatoid arthritis was. I think there's a lot of mystery <laughs> related to autoimmune disease. Yes. I also have autoimmune disease, you so I do? had Hashimoto's and colitis. Oh, my and God. But there's so many women, women and men, um, and it's a difficult disease to define and mm -hmm. to describe, but it's so true what you're saying. Sometimes as women, we just push through the pain, right? Mm -hmm. We don't recognize those signs that are yeah. right there. So, wow. Yeah. So they eventually got loud enough for me to have to listen. Mm -hmm. um, and I went through this whole journey, but I didn't, I didn't walk for actually a year of my life. Wow. And then I went through this whole, I basically spent my life savings trying to heal myself naturally. I had a chef seven days a week. I was doing everything. Anti-inflammatory diet and just. Yeah, it was, a, it was actually a macrobiotic diet. Mm -hmm. um, my counselor, her name was Mina Dobik, and she cured herself of stage five cancer. Mm. 30 years ago, she was given three months to live or something. Wow. Um, so I hired her. And I wasn't able to actually do the recipes and stuff because my hands weren't working. Nothing was working. So I had to hire a chef. And I really dove in. I thought, if I'm going to live with this chronic disease, mm -hmm. I'm going to try everything naturally. Um, and that's kind of what I share in the book. But what happened was I started sharing my journey. Mm -hmm. um, well, I was modeling at the time. And all of a sudden, I was 90 pounds. And I'm 5'10". Mm. So Gosh. there was a lot of whispers. Nobody knew, really knew what was wrong with me. Sure. So I started sharing. And I started a blog called The Golden Secrets. And that's where I started sharing um, kind of how I healed myself. I say I'm thriving with rheumatoid arthritis. Cause so brave of you, though, to yes. come from that vulnerable place and be willing to tell that story. and. Um, educate people and inspire people like it's such a beautiful part of you thank you yeah I felt really you know I'm sure like with you just with like colitis or other autoimmune disease like it's interesting now there's more topic about it mm -hmm. but 10 years ago I couldn't find any sure real good books or research or anything so I was like I have to help people mm -hmm. so I started sharing and then eventually it turned into a book and so is the book about your whole journey back to health I talk a little bit about my story okay. but the books really for anybody um, even if you're not sick just any kind of ailment obstacles 
And there's reflection pages where I ask you specific questions. Mm -hmm. So you can kind of go through your own journey. Love um, this. So important. Yes. I mean, the exercise work, the to-do lists for women. Yes. It's one of the things that I really love that really touched me about your posts on social media is just they're so thoughtful. Thank you. You know, and they're words that are true and that we need to hear and sometimes we forget and we get into the groove, you know, as mothers and women and, you know, there's this whole inner dialogue that I wanted to talk a little bit about too that's so important because I think being a mom, yeah. aging gracefully, we're so hard on ourselves, we're so critical. Yes. And our body is like listening and believing to, believing everything we think, everything we say to ourselves, you know. And there has to be some compassion and some gentleness and a shift inside as a woman, mm -hmm. right? This is my whole practice. I mean, um, Louise Hay is one of my idols, and she wrote a book called Heal Your Life years mm -hmm. ago. And she actually says rheumatoid arthritis is self-criticism and feeling mm. put upon. And when I was going through my own journey to optimal health when I was really sick, I realized that my inner critic was very hard and negative interesting even if I did something amazing and it lo I looked like I was doing everything right to everybody mm -hmm. else inside it wasn't good enough it was never good enough that's toxic yeah it's so toxic that's toxic <laughs> yeah so that's really what inspired me um, to do my my skincare line as well so every product comes with affirmation cards mm -hmm. to recite. I love that. yeah yeah so tell me about the line so um, it's actually products that I've been making myself for 20 years. Amazing. Yeah, and people, um, the Signature Blend is a per essential oil perfume that I've been wearing for 20 years, and everybody would always ask me, like, what are you wearing, and where can I get that? It's a little body chemistry. Yeah. <laughs> a little fragrance. Yeah, and I'm like, I don't know, like, I was always, like, kind of, kind of selfish about it, like, I didn't want to share. You don't want other women smelling the yeah. way that you smell? Yeah, yeah, it's like, that's my I'm scent. Like, is that Jessie? Yeah. <laughs> Um, but a friend of mine said, it was, I had already had my blog and I had some traffic going to my blog and he said, why don't you just bottle that and put it on your website? And at first I thought he was absolutely insane. And, um, but I'm so happy I listened to him, I listened to him cause I just launched it on my birthday and I kind of just wanted to see what would happen. And so good. Yeah. And everybody responded. So, so yeah. good. Yeah. What else is in the line besides fragrance? Um, Skin care. I have a face serum, a body powder. Um, I have aura clearing mist, which is basically just hydros sage hydrosol, so you can mm -hmm. just spray it. But behind the line is, is everything's organic and everything's handmade, but every product comes with these affirmation cards. Mm -hmm. And they're specific to the product. So, like the face serum talks about, you know, like you said, aging gracefully yeah. and, and having a joy, you know, an internal joy and an internal glow. And um, I have a goddess um, shaping oil that's about loving yourself and, nice. you know, giving yourself some love in those areas that you don't love. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Focusing on the good stuff, <laughs> yeah. letting go of the bad. I mean, I do that in my class as well, where I tell women, give yourself that personal compliment, listen to it, focus on that this week. You know, quiet down the inner criticism. Focus on one thing and just hear that and believe that and breathe that in, you know. It's easier said than done, but we have to do that as women. And yeah. that's part of your day, your positive daily rituals, right? It's 100% on a daily thing. I'm constantly retraining my brain. Mm -hmm. um, and I even do it with my son. Like, I don't know what's going on internally with him, but if he voices something to me, mm -hmm. like, I'm not good at this. I'm like, oh, okay. Now let's, let's say three good things three things you are good at. That's a I'm great, trying to retrain, you know. That's a great lesson, retraining the brain, because some people don't know how to get into that space. I'm yeah. gonna do that with my daughter. Because self-criticism is so squashing, right? It's so deflating. Mm -hmm. So do you start your day with a positive daily ritual? You because know, you weren't positive growing up. Yeah. I mean, you were hard on yourself, I was right, very, as a ballerina. Yeah, very hard, yeah. And I still, this is my daily practice, you know, and I've gotten, much better and I think being a mother too mm -hmm. has allowed me to really see myself that way um, but I mean my I have a lot of daily rituals but I'm sure like you I mean I get my son for school and mm -hmm. I take him to school <laughs> and I always but I always do something uh, movement wise like first thing in the morning that's my daily me ritual. Me too I have to get it yeah done I get day. it done yeah, and that's my practice, though. I mean, whether it's yoga or I'm hiking or I'm running or mm -hmm. I'm, you know, doing something else, um, 
that's my quiet time. That's when yeah. I kind of go inside and do my stuff. That's my me time too. I mean, mm -hmm. we just get so much out of it. That's so much more than just the body and vanity and the results. It's so mind, body, spirit, and mm -hmm. so mental and so emotional for me.